In the previous episodes of our wild ventures, we arrive at the Montebellos, a group of 174 islands where nuclear testing was done in the 1950s, and traces of radioactive elements are to this day still unknown. We left our home in the top end of Australia with our caravan, picked up our boat from Broome, and towed it all the way to Onslow. We did this to plan an epic journey to the Montebello Islands by boat, 150 kilometers offshore. Camping on board our 9.5 meter custom made boat, we discovered some spectacular fishing, fantastic diving, and powder white sand beaches to stretch for kilometers. Join us in day 3 of our wild ventures as we celebrate what the fuss is all about and why people would pay up to $30,000 to get to visit these islands. So, yet again. because it was just so windy and horrible. Who's gonna have an early night? Or oh, you had noodles. I had two in it noodles, so don't judge me. I had to have noodles. <laughs> My chef is not cooking tonight. <laughs> I'm going to bed. I'm knackered. Oh, and plus it's just it's so early. It's, it's not really it's half, it's half past eight. But then again the howling of the wind is just incredible so yeah. no worries. Well we'll oh, see you tomorrow. Goodness my washing stand. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> died down to a nice sort of probably 10 to 15 knots. I thought it was going to fly at one point inside oh, my tent. It was so windy last <laughs> night. It was so windy. It was only meant to be I think maximum 12 knots yeah. and I reckon it was at least 20 maybe a little <laughs> yeah. bit more. I think so. It's meant to be four knots now. <laughs> a gentle breeze from the west and it's coming from the south I reckon and it's still 10 to 15. I know. But first, I'm going to put a dry rub on this fish, uh, which my brother-in-law gave me the ingredients for. Kevin, hopefully it works out well, otherwise uh, it'll be his fault. <laughs> 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 Alright, well, so yeah, I've made up this um, sort of like a dry rub, which is brown sugar, coriander powder, uh, garlic powder, and salt. Pretty basic. It's a dry rub, so I'm just going to rub these pieces of fish into it, and then I'm going to put them into the fridge for... I don't know, maybe, I think it's just overnight and then I'll get it out, I'll wash any of the excess powder off and then I'll smoke them for an hour and uh, see how they come out. I'd probably like to smoke them for a bit longer but I don't know if I'll have the control on the little smoker that we have. Mm. I think I'm doing it right. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that uh, someone will tell me if I'm not. <laughs> Kevin will be... Um... Kevin will be disgusted if I don't do it correctly. Right. And then after this we'll go and have a bit of a look around. See what we can find today. There's been heaps of wildlife. Well, heaps of marine life, should I say. Lots of dolphins and turtles everywhere. Yeah, I'd like to try and find... Shovel those sharks. Oh, heaps of them. Big and, rays. Um, Actually, and some big sharks. Tawniness. Yeah. Sharks. Yesterday was good. We did get... We got a nice mackerel and things like that. But it didn't take long. But we can't keep fish anyways. Once we caught the one, we just headed back. We got a tuna as well. Tuna was good. We tried that for sashimi. That was pretty good, wasn't it? Fantastic, yeah. And I bet that tuna will even be better today having yeah. well, i've wrapped it in paper towel actually okay. it takes away some of the moisture moisture nice and cloudy sort of with the odd burst of oh, severe heat. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all worth it uh-huh i'm gonna check the weather again today the starlink set the starlink up yesterday and it was really good one uh -huh. spot on so quick but is it worth not that Checking it, the weather not that because it will change. Because, <laughs> it yeah. just changes anyway. Yeah, it, was, it was wrong. <laughs> the weather predictions were, was wrong. Is that you were looking at across quite a few platforms, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Windy's normally been the best go-to actually so far on this trip, but Windy was absolutely wrong. Direction was about right. 
Uh -huh. But strength, very wrong. It's definitely not as predictable as being up in north in the Kimberleys or, you know, down Fifth Peninsula, even Darwin. Yeah. It does tend to be a bit more predictable. This changes on a daily basis, so that's why it's lucky we have enough water and fuel because <laughs> we've got to travel 150 k's to get back. We came around this way yesterday, so how about we go? How about we come around here and come around this side? It's a bit more of a trip, but I mean, this why not? We're going to have a look, see what's on here, if there's any beaches there. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Right, you ready for action? Yeah. You yeah. go on the ladder. Yeah. It will be easier. It will be much easier. It'll save you swimming. Big thing. What's that? I designed this. That's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah. It keeps us Keeps the sun off your neck. Yeah. I should probably wear it. Yeah. I need one for my arm. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. All right. So you're going to yeah. go down the ladder. So I'll, I'll pull up to the beach. Okay. And then um, you should probably be on the ladder. Mm. And then I can, um, I'll just drop you off. And then I'm going to have to reverse out quickly. Yeah. Just so as we don't get stuck there. Oh. You all right? Yeah. Okay. So better get behind the helm. I am here, just about to go onto the beach. Amazing! Great, thank you! Wow, beautiful. Wow, this is very, very new. That's beautiful. Look at this very busy intersection of turtle tracks. <laughs> wow. That's very fresh. Here's another one. Beautiful. This is a very fresh turtle track that you can see is just over there. But I can just see faint, oh my goodness, faint turtle tracks, just a big hole way up there. That is a lot of work. I'm not sure if I'm game enough to climb the same height as that turtle. <laughs> Exactly. So I actually said that on the on the hill up there, there is some lower ones, right, where they've mm. obviously dug out and just deposited their eggs. But they just went further up. Some turtles just went way See up. Any eggs anywhere? Like eggs at the hatch? I have. Broken yeah. eggs. Next bay. Let's go and have a look. See what's in that one. <laughs> <laughs> you have a snorkel just next to those rocks. Yeah, I'm just gonna go and see what life's there, see if there's any crayfish. Yeah. <laughs> Is it cold? Is it? Okay. Hello, buddy. 
You know the silly thing is I actually bought a suit, if you remember. Oh yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't buy a suit this time. Yeah, yeah okay. Oh. Ricky absolutely loves water. Wow, and it's his confidence in my nephew Zaki's. Wow, their confidence in the water just made me want to learn how to swim. And finally, I can snorkel <laughs> and no longer suffer panic attacks. It's just beautiful. The weightlessness is just absolutely amazing. So if you can learn how to swim or just float above the water, do it. Try fishing around a bommy. Um, yeah, got a trout. Beautiful trout. Look at that. It's probably not legal. No, we'll throw him back in the water. We don't need him, eh? We've got plenty of fish. We've got Spanish mackerel still. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Just fishing around a bommy, really. I'm using those hardy heads that, um, that you caught the other day. We got in the net the other day. Yeah, 3,000 of them. <laughs> I'll just show you this trout. There's this beautiful little trout. Let's see if we can get some bigger ones. What do you reckon? It's beautiful, eh? Mm. Beautiful colours. It's cool. Time to go back in the water. Alright, buddy. See you later. I'm just using one of these hardy heads hole. I've actually burly this up a little bit. I'm just using a hardy head hole. Just pings through the eyes. Sinker. Let's see if we can get another one.
I think it's a flowery cod, but I, I'm, I could be wrong. I'm not 100% sure. There's lots of different types. Mm. And anyway, Hello. I'm going to put him back because he's okay. beautiful. Yeah, he is beautiful. They're actually probably amazing to eat. In fact, they would be great to eat, but yeah, we've no. still got so much mackerel left. So yeah, absolutely. That's cool. All right, All right I'll take him back. Buddy. <laughs> this time. using uh -huh. some of the hardy heads that we caught the other day. Uh -huh. um, yeah, but beautiful trout. Mm. Mm. I keep this one, just one. Uh -huh. And then we can have them, <laughs> I'll eat them tomorrow. It'll be oh, beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Hey? Okay. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know what this is. What is fun. it? I don't know. Wow, <sighs> you better bring it in, Ricky. <laughs> Beautiful, eh? Wow. Beautiful trout. <laughs> nice. Anyway, you can go back. Okay. Bye! <laughs> That's enough fishing. Oh, really? Okay, you said that about five bait fish ago. Well, oh, that was good. Really. It's good to good find session. some ground and. Yeah, good session. Yeah, it's nice. Mm. Good to find some ground, might have a coffee or something, eh? Yeah, your coffee's waiting there. It's actually ready. Geez, that one hard, that trout. Mm. I yeah, thought it was good. going to be bigger than the one that you kept. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was good. I'll fill up that trout up actually in a second and then we'll um, yeah. we'll have a snorkel or something. So you gonna go in? Yep. You are? Right? Cool. Coral traps. We were only supposed to keep one, but the other one unfortunately didn't quite make it. Ricky's just in the background and he is enjoying his snorkel. <laughs> windy day. It's incredibly windy. I mean, one would think that this is just a very simple thing to do, but there's actually a lot that goes on to the planning of every trip that we make. I mean, you know, <laughs> for example, that mackerel the other day would have probably ended up being $500 or something in the scheme of things. Um, and this is probably another $500 <laughs> because it actually costs so much with petrol to get here. Um, and uh, hats off to all of those skippers. I mean, you know, knowing what Ricky does when what he goes into when he's uh, planning a trip is just absolutely incredible. So hats off to all of the skippers who makes all of these trips to the remote islands so worthwhile. Whether you catch one or two fish or no fish at all, it's not just about the fishing, isn't it? It's just being out here, um, wow, and the remoteness of it all. It's incredible. <laughs> it's very windy. Look at those white caps. But I was saying earlier on in the post that um, none of the weather prediction apps were correct. Paul Kanafa actually said, uh, aren't they always like that? <laughs> uh, yeah, this is very wrong. Wow. How much further do we have to go? No, not far. Not it's far. just froze. Okay. No rush. Yeah. Look at that! That's crazy! There is another sign there. I mean, I don't have to go very close to the sign to know that it would probably say radioactive. Stay away! Limit your exposure <laughs> to this beach and to this island, so... I had a good day, though. We yeah. were on the other side of that island, got out of the wind. Uh-huh. Caught some nice trout and had lunch and had a swim. Beautiful. Yeah. The good thing about here is you can get out of the wind if it, you know, if it is windy one uh -huh. side, you can go to the other side and vice versa, but it'd be better if it wasn't windy. Uh-huh, yeah. And it and seems to be getting windier, so we've got to try and pick a window when we get back. <laughs> I think Wednesday's it, so we've got a few days yet. And the good thing about the, here is that you can actually snorkel the bombies. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Um, where you catch your fish, um, and yeah, you said that there's, there's no crocodiles, so... Yeah. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Can't do that at the Kimberley, say, quite as easily. Oh, no, not always. not always, yeah. Wow, look at that. Oh, looks too nice to eat, Ricky. Okay. <laughs> this is just some of the coral trout. It's just sat on some onions and just a small bit of water and a little bit of salt. We boil it for about uh, 10 minutes. And now we're just going to add the other ingredients, which is the ginger and shallots. Oyster sauce. Oyster sauce. Yeah. And then what are we going to do, Margie? <laughs> we're going to... We're going to pour the peanut oil on top of it, and that should infuse the taste. That should infuse the flavours of the ginger and shallots. That's right. Yeah. Yay, look Beautiful. at that, Ricky. Can you imagine it? This is what we're having out here in the Montebello Islands. Hey, we are dining in style. Yeah, beautiful. All right, try some. Yeah. So it's good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Spot on. <laughs> wow, this is gourmet cooking. <laughs> it's beautiful, huh? It is absolutely stunning and silky fresh. Wow. <laughs> no comment, hey? Can't yeah, even talk. <laughs> we made it back to the pontoon. Ricky says it's not that windy, but 
It's uh, actually a lot better tonight. <laughs> it's meant to be, again, it's actually meant to be windier tonight. Tonight's going to be the windiest night. I mean, I'm not, it hasn't been windy yet, but, uh, <laughs> but it's actually quite nice tonight. Oh my Still, goodness. Probably only about 12, 13 knots. It's nothing like it was yet last night. Last night would have been 20, 25 knots. Yeah, well, oh God, God, I don't know. I, I was quite surprised how I wasn't actually blown away with my camp stretcher, do you know what I mean? So. And you're diving tomorrow, aren't you? You're going to have a go? You're going to get in? I'm going to have a go, yeah. I mean, we do have this rule that whoever, uh, there's only one person in the water and the other person actually watches the boat. Because, for example, in case the anchor slips, which it did today, you know, it was so windy. When we were fishing. Yeah, it was so windy, so it was pretty good that I stayed in Warwick. That's my excuse. And plus... We had to fill in the coral trap. <laughs> I fill in the coral trap. I was also overly laden with food. I just... I just did it again. I just over ate. And uh, it was a beautiful lunch. Got some nice trout. We didn't fish for long. We fished probably about half an hour. Spent the rest of the time swimming and cooking and diving. Did go for a bit of a dive, saw some more crayfish again, which I haven't quite... Not that it's a real issue, because we've got so much food anyway, I don't really need to catch any crayfish, but uh, look, uh, I might have another go tomorrow. And when you, you were able to snorkel the same bommy where you fished, I mean, that's incredible, I that's did good, have I a, love that. I did have a look at the same bommy that, um, that I fished. So we're back into it tomorrow. Yeah. And uh, we're going to have a look at the wind in the morning though, because just I need to make a plan like I would like to keep staying I, I mean we don't have to go we've got plenty of water plenty of fuel but uh, when I looked at the, the the wind report this morning it said that there was some really strong winds coming um, mm. from about Friday onwards it almost looks like there's a cyclone growing off the coast so mm. we'll see what happens we'll have a look in the morning and um, we'll go from there hopefully not hopefully we can just stay because otherwise we're just back to the caravan park waiting for the next window and I'd rather be here to be yeah, honest. Yeah, I mean look just at Just starting this. to work it out a little bit now like where to fish and where to go and what to do and where to snorkel. Yeah, where to snorkel. Yeah, it's good. And where to catch crayfish if we wanted any but. Yeah, well maybe. <laughs> we'll, see, we'll, we'll see what happens. Let's I've got to catch it first. Yeah, exactly. So tomorrow I am thinking of um, preparing the smoked fish and it's a method called himai himai so you're just um, pulling it um, into small crumbles you know what i mean um, and having it in fried rice for brunch so i'm not gonna you think he's doing an 18 hour fast i can't do it <laughs> i last for about <laughs> i i did last for a very long time at one point and then i just broke it it doesn't matter um Yes, and so I'm going to have that for brunch, even if Ricky can't join me, and then I'm sure Ricky would. Um, but most importantly, look at this beautiful... It is stunning. View. Beautiful. Minus... The big boy. The <laughs> big boy. The rest of it is just so stunning. To all our beautiful subscribers and followers, look at this. Thank you for letting us know that you love what we love. Absolutely stunning. And Nick King, thank you for reminding us that Western Australia has got the most stunning sunset. This one's for you. We do have beautiful sunsets in the northern territory though. So this is Australia. Wow. Just so so grateful to be where we are and enjoying all of this. It's just it's just beautiful really, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> See you next time. See you in the water. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs> Look at that wind, Ricky. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice. You know what? If it wasn't windy, you'd be complaining that it's hot. <laughs> At least now it's beautiful. Great sleeping weather. Oh my goodness. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember to click on the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. We also need more subscribers like you. So please share the love and share our channel and get them to like and subscribe too. <laughs> See you in the next episode.